What is geothermal heating? Let's talk about how it works, concepts, and ground temperature. At a depth of below 4 feet, the ground temperature stays at a constant 50 to 55 degrees year-round. During the winter, a geothermal system absorbs this extra heat from the earth and transfers it into your home. During the summer, the system takes heat from indoors and moves it back underground. The system exchanges heat with the earth, meaning that no noisy or unsightly outdoor unit is needed. You can see in this photo how the system works during the summer. The house temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, outside air temp is 95 degrees, and the ground temp is only 55 degrees, which is much lower than the air temperature. In the next photo, I will show you how the system operates during the winter. The house temp is 73 degrees Fahrenheit, outside air temp is 20 degrees, and ground temp 55 degrees. Let me explain. Although heat pumps are complex internally, they are marvels of compact design for reliability. Some include features such as additional heat exchangers for water heating and microprocessor-based automatic controls and protection devices. Anatomy of a geothermal heat pump. Instead of producing heat like a conventional furnace, a geothermal system moves heat from one place to another. The example below illustrates the summer cooling process. The cool, liquid refrigerant enters the indoor coil during cooling. As it enters the coil, the temperature of the refrigerant is between 40 and 50 degrees. As warm, moist room air passes over the cool coil, the refrigerant inside absorbs the heat. The new, cooler, drier air is circulated back into the room with a blower fan. The refrigerant moves into the compressor, which is a pump that raises the pressure so it will move through the system. The increased pressure from the compressor causes the refrigerant to heat to roughly 120 to 140 degrees. The hot vapor now moves into the condenser, the underground loops, where the refrigerant gives up its heat to the cooler ground and condenses back into a liquid. As the refrigerant leaves the compressor, it's still under high pressure. It reaches the expansion valve where the pressure is reduced. The cycle is complete as the cool, liquid refrigerant re-enters the evaporator to pick up room heat. During the winter, the reversing valve switches the indoor coil to function as the condenser and the underground piping to act as the evaporator. Geothermal heat pump systems work. No existing space conditioning technology offers greater comfort, economy, or environmental benefits than the geothermal heat and cooling systems now available for residential and commercial installations. Over 250,000 installations are in place in the United States today. And the number is rapidly increasing. More than 95% of all geothermal heat and cooling customers are completely satisfied with their systems. Conclusion Geothermal heating and cooling systems can be connected to the Earth in a variety of ways. All thoroughly feel... To watch the full official video with Do-It-Yourself Guide, visit the link below.